going on guys? It's Locked from New York and I'm back with another pickup video. I know it's been a really long time, but uh, you know, after uh, my last episode, I had one more episode, which was supposed to be my last episode, and it got deleted somehow. I guess I cleared off my camera card before I uh, backed it up to my computer and I deleted it. So, kind of just left you hanging and I didn't have any more videos, and that was really the end of garage sale season. I really didn't have any more pickups last year. So, uh, I kind of took a break from the channel because I was moving. Um, I wanted to wait till I got my tax return so I can get my new camera. I just bought this new camera that I'm using now. I'm going to start using it for my channel. Um, and I'm going to do, you know, a lot more than pickup videos. But I want to come back and just start off with some quick pickups for the first real good garage sale day. I got a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to pretty much run through it as quickly as possible. Uh, you know, I don't want this video dragging on. Um, this year I'm going to be doing a little bit different. Uh, I actually moved. I uh, forgot if I mentioned that, but I moved recently. That was another reason why I wasn't able to do the channel because I was in the process of moving and renovating uh, the house and everything. So we, I didn't really have a uh, place to set it up at the time, all my stuff. And uh, so I've been in boxes for a couple of months. So just able to set up the uh, game room and everything. So I guess let's get to start and we'll run through this really quick. I'll go in order of uh, how I got everything. All right, so I guess I'll start with last week. Last week was the first kind of weekend where they actually started to have garage sales around here. I live in New York. And so, you know, it's a little bit colder. So uh, I went out, there wasn't that many. I didn't really find too much stuff, but I did get um, Crash Bandicoot Warped. That was $2. And I got a guide for Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus. And this was a buck at a thrift store that we checked out. And this week, you can see, I just have this little envelope with uh, like five or six addresses that I got off of Craigslist. And I think I found two or three sales on the way to here. The first one on this list was a Hawthorne. I went there at 9 a.m. and no one was outside, no one was setting up. So I was like, you know what, I can't wait. This is crunch time. So I hit all the other places on my list up to the 10 a.m. ones, which was the last three. And uh, I did everything in like 15 to 20 minutes. Didn't find anything except for one sale. A, uh, these are all just the cases for the DS games. So, uh, she said she threw out the game. She didn't know what they looked like. I explained it to her and she said, yeah, she threw them out. So, these cases all have the spot for the uh, GBA games. So, I'm going to use these cases for my uh, loose GBA games since I don't really have any box. So, I'm not sure if you know, but inside it has the slot right here for the GBA games. So, you could uh, just print out your own covers and have cases for all your GBA games instead of having them loose. I know it's hard to, hard to find the boxes. So I made my way all around up to the beach and came back down and I didn't find anything. So on the way back, it was still about half an hour uh, left before the 10 o'clock sale started. So I stopped back at Hawthorne and they were actually set up. Got a Platinum GameCube with uh, one memory card. One first party memory card and a Game Shark Memory Cube 16X. So that one might have a little bit more memory in there. And there's some game in here. And that came with two controllers, both platinum and all the wires. The Sims, Rocket Power Beach Bandits, Attacking the Power of Juju, Donkey Konga, don't have the bongos. Batman Vengeance, The Herbs, just like a Sim City game, The Sims Busting Out, WWE Crush Hour, never heard of it, NBA Live 04, whatever, Pokemon Coliseum, and with Pokemon Coliseum, there's another memory card in there, so that's Coliseum. Uh, Animal Crossing. Let me check this one. No memory card in the Animal Crossing, but you got that. The Player's Choice. Uh, Harvest Moon, Wonderful Life. Yeah, Harvest Moon, it's a wonderful life. And actually, a second copy of Harvest Moon, it's a wonderful life. We got Player's Choice, Super Mario Sunshine. 
We got Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. And one I've been looking for, I've been looking for all of those uh, last couple of them. But Luigi's Mansion, which I'm really hyped up to get because I don't want to play the game so bad that I don't want to spend the 20, 25 bucks on it that people want for it on So she had the whole GameCube deal for 10 bucks. That was her price. And I had no problem paying 10 bucks for all that stuff. No lie, honestly, I was completely shocked when she said $10. And actually within that $10, was a uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii. So that was 10 bucks for all that stuff. The GameCube, all the GameCube games, and the one Wii game. We also had Wii Sports Resort. Um, this is brand new. It's never been opened. The game is still sealed in here and it still has the Motion Plus sealed in the plastic and everything. She wanted three on this. But uh, she also had a uh, pen digital tablet. It's an Android tablet. Um, I was messing with it before, but the battery died and I don't have a charger for it because she lost it. But it has an uh, Android operating system. I'm not sure which because I didn't check. Yeah, so she wanted uh, three bucks for each of these and I think we uh, did five for these. So 15, I spent at Hawthorne for the game, Platinum GameCube. All the games, Wii, Wii Sports Resort, Donkey Kong Country Returns, and a tablet for 15 bucks. So this was one of the uh, random ones that I just saw the signs for. It wasn't advertised on Craigslist. And I asked them if they had any games. They said they had a Wii earlier, but it sold like right away for 20 bucks. But when I asked if they have any other games, they said, oh yeah, we have a whole bunch of PlayStation stuff. And it was still in the truck. I guess it was like a multi-family thing. So uh, he ran to the truck and grabbed a bag of stuff and he came back with it and I was digging through. It was all thrown in there. And the first thing I saw in the bottom was a uh, PlayStation 1. This is the little mini PlayStation with the flip up screen. And you can see the hinge on this one is really tight. I don't know if you see it, but up there on top of my TV, I have my other one and it has a loose hinge on it. So I think I'm gonna probably keep this screen and uh, put my other one up for trade. So I'm gonna have a PS1 with the flip up screen. And this came with all the wires, a uh, black PS1 controller, and actually the car adapter so I could hook up the uh, little mini PlayStation in my car. All right, so there's the PS1 with the screen, all the wires, the controller, and a whole bunch of games. There's a Twisted Metal 4, it's the disc and the manual only. You'll see, it's kind of weird the way some of this stuff was. We have, we have Time Crisis, and this has the back insert, the manual, and the game disc. I just need to get a case for it, which I can grab from some random CD. We have Time Crisis Project Titan, and this is the uh, back of the art, game art, and the game disc, there's no manual. Contra Legacy of War on PlayStation 1, there's no case, it's just a generic case. Vigilante 8, uh, no manual for this one. Masters of the Terrakazi, it's a Star Wars it's a fighting game, I believe. And again, there's no manual for this one, just the back artwork. Harry Potter. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Mass Destruction. Never heard of that one. Here we get a little bit better. We got some Collector's Edition Spyro the Dragon. Spyro Ripto's Rage. Spyro Year of the Dragon, so that's the whole collector set, all in a package. Final Fantasy Tactics. And Twisted Metal Black for the PS2. Yeah, Twisted Metal Black for the PS2. Now for the PS1, with the screen, all the PlayStation 1 games in this PS2 game, it was uh, 10 bucks, 10 bucks they told me. All right, so from there I went to another sale. This one was on the list. Uh, didn't have anything advertised as far as games or anything, but they had a uh, fat PS2 with the network adapter. I checked for the hard drive, but it wasn't in there. All right, so the last address on my list was more towards the north part of town. The one that I went to actually didn't have anything, but there was another sale in the corner. When I asked for games, the woman said uh, somebody gave her some games to sell. So from there we got a uh, Nintendo 64 charcoal gray with a controller as a tight joystick 
all the wires for that. And with that was a copy of uh, Mario Kart 64. And um, with this, she said she does a bunch of more games inside and she couldn't find what she did with them because somebody gave them to her to sell at the yard sale. But uh, she said she was gonna to get them for me and put them aside. Uh, so I'm gonna go back tomorrow and see if she came up with those. Uh, I asked her what she wanted for the system and the game and she told me $3. So three bucks for the 64 and Mary Kart 64. Uh, her husband had a whole bunch of action figures and stuff for sale. So for a dollar, I've never even seen this before. It's a dot hack sign action figure. It's the uh, lovable collection. It's pretty cool for a buck. I've never even seen this before. It's a uh, has a little Japanese writing, I believe, on the bottom. So I also found a random uh, garage sale, but I didn't know where it was. I went looking for it and I couldn't find it. So I came home, dropped everything off, and I Google mapped it real quick because I didn't have my phone with me. Uh, and it, was, it wasn't too far, so I headed there and I got a uh, Wii Fit. And the Wii Fit board. Two Wii controllers, and there's one nunchuck here. It has like a piece broken off, and they also had a copy of The Walking Dead on PS3, still sealed. She also had a, a huge stack of Wii games, like 40 games. Not yeah, almost 40 games, like 30 or 40 games, all Wii games, but they're all shovelware, except for. Uh, the, uh, the Wii Fit and this. And there was a couple of other sealed PS3 games like Syndicate and um, some other kids game that I wasn't interested in. But uh, she wanted five bucks for the sealed games, five bucks for the controllers, and five bucks for the Wii Fit setup. And all those Wii games they had there, I think they were two bucks a piece or two for five. But uh, there was nothing good in there. There was no Mario or like any Nintendo games or anything. It was really just kids games and uh, Shovelware. She had like really small kids running around. So she wanted 15 for everything. I offered her 10. She said meet me in the middle and she said 12. So for 12 bucks I got uh, Sealed Walking Dead on PS3. The Wii Fit. Two controllers for the Wii with a nunchuck. Alright so again I just want to thank you guys for you know taking your time out to check out my video and uh, stay tuned for next week. We'll have another pickup video and hopefully I can get some of the other stuff that I've been filming. Uh, maybe I can get it up onto the channel too. So uh, till next week. Peace. Thank you.